Hello and welcome to Let's Unbound, episode number 50. Today, we are going to see how to solve a Sudoku. Hmm, sounds fun, right? So without wasting much time, let's jump into the video and quickly understand how to solve Sudoku in very easy form. Well, people may have a doubt most of the time that when they come to learn Sudoku, they always think that no, they are not good in mathematics. They won't be able to solve Sudoku ever. But let me tell you, this is not the case. Sudoku can be solved by a person who is not good in mathematics also. It's all about recognizing a pattern. Well, now as we are getting into the video, we want a pencil, a razor, and of course, Sudoku. So the first step when we are learning a Sudoku comes is understand the pattern. Now, these boxes are made up of squares. This blue box is called as cells. And these cells have an individual number of its own, is also called as square. Now, when these cells are connected in a three by three form, the squares get bigger and create a box in Sudoku. So basically, Sudoku has 81 squares, means 81 cells, and nine boxes with three into three box group. Now continuing with understanding the pattern, here's one more thing that you need to know, that to solve a Sudoku pattern, each row and column of nine square must contain number from one to nine. Now, as we talked about row and column, the same thing happens with a box. A box contains number from one to nine also. Very important thing, and you should take a note of this, no row, column, or box may repeat the number. Like here, you can see in this row, four cannot be repeated twice there should be always number from one to nine. If we take this box, then you should know it cannot have repetition of one in a same box, but it can have random numbers from one to nine at different, different location. Just the condition applies that the number should not repeat itself. To see what is basically the brain, or you can say logic behind to solve a Sudoku. How people solve it so smoothly. Let's see the logic. Here, I have an example of a Sudoku. Now you can see there's one thing, whenever a Sudoku is given to you, many squares are already filled. Based on them, we use some logics and begin to solve the Sudoku. According to people convenience, they use different different type of logic and one of the logic is cross hatching technique. Basically what happens in a cross hatching technique, it is a process of figuring out where a number fits by eliminating possibilities based on numbers in the other square in the same row, column and box. Let's see quickly an example to know what is this definition telling to us. As you can see this example, if we talk about the uppermost part. So here in this square, it already have a nine. In the other square also, it already have a nine. Here in this row, there will be no more nine. Same case with this. But this column of ours is free to have nine because we don't have a nine in this column. As you can see, this is full blank. So let's put a nine over here. Now remember, throughout this column, nine cannot be repeated and also with this row. Same goes with this row for nine and same goes with this row for nine. Now, as you can see, nine has been filled. So similarly, you can solve for all the squares, all the boxes, and bam, your Sudoku will be complete. Isn't it easy as it looks? 
it's sudoku is all about patterns patterns can be formed in many types in many different ways and of course as there are different different patterns there can be different different techniques so here we have technique number 2 which is scanning in two directions so here as you can see that scanning in two direction means first of all we are determining with the rows and then in the one which we have in the column and after it we particularly focus on one square and see as all of them are filled here we can have our one in the i3 understand the third technique which is look for single candidates now this technique is very interesting basically what you understand by single candidate single candidate is also known as naked singles and these four things are given to you what you have to find you have to find just these five boxes how you can find five boxes basically as you can see 1 and 6 are used in the same row 5 and 9 are used in a same column so you see that one is there two is missing right so basically we don't have two over here one is there three is there four is there five is there six is there seven is there eight is there and nine is there means the only single candidate we have left with which is eliminated from here is two so we are going to put two in b4 because this row has a maximum number of individual cells that's it for the technique guys of course the more you practice the more you will learn and you will get different different techniques after the time you will be able to find your own technique and solve sudoku in your own way very wishing you a very best of luck to solve sudoku easily and very quickly keep going and keep learning from let's and bow keep watching us thank you like share and subscribe